time to get hunted for treasure. Oh, look at that. It's heaps of plastic. Keep the cloth as well. Nah, it won't be. Oh, my God. A hundred percent. That is what it is. She went in the laundry and she stole some underwear. This week's all new compilation from Bondi Vet. Awesome, um, hey? It's a three year old who owners have just reported have eaten a large yogurt container three days ago. At the emergency hospital the same day, a greedy young Labrador has been rushed in to Gerardo. Wow. Come home, found a container on the floor with big chunks missing off it. Owners Maureen and Robert fear their boy has been up to mischief. After having a look around the house, we couldn't find much plastic or anything, so we figured that he must have consumed most of the container. Oh, it's pretty concerning. Labradors are renowned for eating things they shouldn't eat. Underwear, socks, anything he can get. Yeah, get he's very mischievous. Anything that's not at least 10 foot off the ground, he can get to. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's been doing this for three years. Oh, Carson. Owner feeds him and then he vomits pieces of container as well as his food, but he's also passing chunks of container as well. You're bringing up the container both ends. <laughs> Only a Labrador would eat the whole container too, mate. Sharp pieces of the yogurt container could now be trapped somewhere in Carson's intestine. Good boy. Good boy, Carson. I'm gonna have a feel of his belly, hey? My biggest concern for Carson is that that yogurt tub is causing an obstruction within his gastrointestinal tract. I can't feel anything, but it doesn't rule out but there's nothing sinister going on on the inside, especially the fact that he's vomiting bits of container up. He's all on my prescription glasses and True come love. home and there's glass. Destroyed. Yeah, destroyed about three pairs and yeah, he's, he's cheeky. <laughs> well, let's go take an x-ray, hey? See what the x-ray tells us. What we need to do now is perform some diagnostic tests to assess whether or not there are signs of obstruction in his gastrointestinal tract. Are you ready, team, for x-ray? Yep. One, two, three, lift. Oh. And then on the, on the side, good boy, Carson. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. to talk you through it, mate. Okay, I'm going to slide you forward. Good boy. There we go. Good boy. And then, so the thing I'm looking for here is to whether or not there is indication of an obstructive process. Oh. Oh, he does have some distended pieces of intestine there. Now, hey, hey handsome boy. man. Come here. I'm a little bit concerned, team. This should be a gas bottle, but what we have is we have some kind of irregular opacity here, and my concern is he's got something in his stomach, and that's the reason why he's vomiting. So next step now, ultrasound. Have a look in the inside of his stomach and see if we could see something there. Sit down. Let's see if ultrasound gives us some answers, team. Gerardo urgently needs to find out if any sharp pieces of plastic are blocking Carson's intestine. He's a big puppy. It's not the easiest abdomen to ultrasound. Okay, man. Okay, man. Good boy. All right, team. I think it's all just in his stomach. Yeah, if it's been in three days, it could have caused quite a lot of trauma on the inside. It's a good thing they brought him down. The rest of his intestine is empty. There's no obstruction there, so I don't think it's just further down. I think it's all just related to the outflow of his stomach. Owners Maureen and Robert are terrified their special boy will have to undergo surgery. But first, Gerardo is going to try to induce Carson to vomit. Good boy, Carson. I know, matey. I'm going to rub it on the inside your gum there. This is pretty potent stuff. So good, you're holding your breath. Oh. Okay, time to go hunting for treasure. Oh, look at that. It's heaps of plastic. Keep the cloth as well. He definitely ate the yogurt tub. And he decided to eat part of a tea towel. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine how 
that would pass through very easily. It all came out in a ball, which is what I believe was what we saw on x-ray and ultrasound. So once he finishes vomiting, I'm gonna go and repeat the x-ray and see whether or not there's anything else left in his stomach. Fingers crossed, he's brought it all up. I know you don't feel so good, matey. You sit here. Legs to us, Carson, on your side, matey. On your side. And... Oh! Okay. What we can see is in the last ones, there was this structure here with some gas around it. And then that repeat x-ray of the same side shows nothing. A very subdued Carson will be kept under observation for the next few hours. Okay, so let's pop him on some fluids. Little one, a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you with the bowl. Are you gonna go for the bowl? Good boy, Carson. That's it, mate. Carson, you be a good boy and you keep that down. All right, and if you do, you get to go home. This is the way. And three hours later, Carson has fully recovered, and it's time to be reunited with relieved owners Maureen and oh, Robin. Here we go. Hi, <laughs> he pulled me through the door. Hi, gorgeous. Did you miss oh, us? There we go. Cassie, you want to go home, mate? I don't you know. You want to go home? Okay. I think you might want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Are you going to go hunting some more yoga tubs, mate? Oh, no way, no more loaf, no yogurt. No more yogurt. No more tubs. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be a good boy. All socks, all socks. All no socks. More. No, no socks or tubs or, or cheese or glasses. What's this crank leg you got there, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where we um, place it. So fingers crossed we don't see Carson again, hey? Oh, yeah, yes, good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. All right, much. thanks Appreciate very much, man. Okay. You are uh, yeah. not going to guess what happened here. This little one here. Yeah. The sweet soul is honey. It's honey. What have you been doing? Honey's owner saw her with a large object in her mouth. Ate a spoon. Ate a spoon. Not like no not like a no not like a uh, metal spoon. A metal spoon. Are you sure it's just not gone missing somewhere or? The owner was getting food ready for the for the dogs, and then left a bit of food on the spoon, and then next thing you know, bam. Anxious owner Lindell is waiting in reception. I literally dived on top of her to try and pull it out of her mouth, but I watched it go in. <laughs> Just went in too quickly. The question now is how to get the spoon out. The only way to find out is to take an x-ray. If it's a metal spoon, mm. it'll show up mm. on the x-ray. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, she looks pretty bright. Look at her trotting along. Happy as Larry. What's all the fuss about, hey, honey? You can't feel anything in there. No, she's perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, she'd at least be showing some signs of discomfort, but let's have a look. We're about to find out. Ready? Are you ready for next week? Nah, it won't be. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. This is the biggest spoon on earth. Wow, I don't know how we're going to get that out. It's half the size of her. I've never seen anything like that before. Have you? Never a 23 centimetre spoon. The large spoon is clearly lodged deep in Honey's stomach. Okay. What are the options? Okay. To me, the only option is to is to get an endoscope and, and get her under anaesthetic and scope it out. Unless you think there's another option there. Well, if we go to surgery, remove the spoon oh, from yep. the inside, make an incision in the stomach, but let's try the scope first because yep. If we can get that out without having to go to surgery, that would be ideal. Yeah. The worry is that getting it out, we could cause more damage, but it's got to come out. The plan that Alex and I have come up with is we're going to put a camera down there, put a snare around it and slowly pull it out and hopefully it comes out and doesn't cause any trauma. Alright sweetheart, it's going to give her pain relief directly via her IV, so gets on board as quickly as possible. Alex and Gerardo have never attempted to remove an object this size from a dog's stomach. 
So I guess we give this a go first, and if it doesn't work... And then, just a surgery. Are you ready? Yeah. Nothing yet. Jeez, I hope it hasn't gone fit down further. That's it there, you see? No, where? Up, there it is. There, okay, right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've got to keep this in the middle. Did you want to drive? Uh, if you want me to. My bad. This is, this is typical. So we can see the very end of the handle of the spoon. What Dryder is going to do now is try to get a loop of wire around that and that's then we're going to try to pull it out. But we've got to remember that the wide part of the spoon is right down in the stomach. And that's the tricky part. I'm feeding the loop down now. I don't know if that loop's going to be big enough. So we need a new loop because the loop itself is not opening wide enough to go over the spoon handle. So fingers crossed we have one that's big enough. If this doesn't work, honey will face surgery. I will inflate with gas. I knew this was going to be hard, but I think it's going to be harder than we think. Okay, inflating. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's better. Much better. Now, the trick is... It's going to be trying to get it over. Oh, yep. Oh, that looks good. Come on. Try and get that edge. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just going to go a little bit further in. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, tighten down, really. You tighten down? Okay. okay. I tighten down. Whoa. Try and get that edge. Whoa. Okay. Alright, that's this is just the first step though, remember. That is a metal on metal and it could easily slip. Okay. So we're just gonna have to go really slowly. Yes, Let's see if we could pull it and just Alex. Let's go slow, slowly. slowly. I'm pulling back and it's not wanting to come. So the problem is that we're getting the wide part of the spoon up to the esophageal sphincter and it won't come through. So the plan is that we're gonna put this down there and we're gonna open up and Hopefully that opens up the sphincter so the spoon comes out with it. The procedure is becoming more complicated than they hoped. I'm stressed as hell. Forward out this please. They just do not want to go. Oh, wants to dig a hole, a big hole in that so I guess. And now we're pulling the floor out with the jaws open. We're all pulling, we're all pulling, we're pulling, we're pulling, 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 pulling. Pull, 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 Oh my God. Okay. So it's out of the stomach, which is the first step. Now we've got to get it up the esophagus without doing more damage. Ready? Let's go, guys. Okay. Let's go, team. Go. Oh. Oh, it's coming down. Yeah. That's, oh that's <gasps> pharynx. Here we go. Oh. Oh my wow. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh. It's a spoon. That was. I cannot believe it. Good job, guys. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's how big that spoon was. She's going to be so sore tomorrow. I cannot even imagine. I think probably rest in hospital tonight and then get you home in the morning. The big test now is to see if Honey's appetite has been affected. All right, I've got some chicken here for her. It's a really good sign if she eats a bit of this. Ready? Hey, you want to see how you can swallow? Because I, I would say, if I was you, I would have a very sore throat. All right, just, let's just start with a little bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, no problems there at all. You are one lucky dog. Good girl. So we're going to send her home on some medication just because she's got some ulceration from the trauma from the spoon and we want to make sure that that all heals up. <laughs> She's off. In here, in here. This way. Who's in there? Who's in there? <laughs> oh. She just ate a little bit of chicken for me then, um, so just want to make sure she was all good with that. And I also thought a bit of oh, give you the spoon. <laughs> I don't know if you still wanted it, but I thought it should really hold on to that. So, okay. Good girl, hey? You've got to stay out of trouble. Thank you. See you guys. I think she's one very lucky dog. Pin. 
100% eating a pin. I'd say 99.9% .9 sure he's eating a drawing pin. Dexter really looks like butter wouldn't melt. He's such a gorgeous boy, but he's been pretty silly today. He's gone to work with mum and he's decided to swallow a drawing pin. Gosh, you total numpty. He had it in his mouth, but he gobbled it at the same time. It sounds <laughs> bonkers, but I'm going to bring him downstairs with sedium and x-ray. Okay. And just see if it's in there. Yeah. All right then, come on in, you big numpty. There's no drawing pins that way. No. All right, say bye to mummy. Oh dear, oh bye. <laughs> see you soon. All right, okay. see ya. See ya. Come on. Always wanted a puppy, so I thought I'd finally, um, you know, make the move and get it. It's hard work, and obviously, as you can see, everything goes in their mouth, so it's quite a, it's quite a hard task. But um, he's absolutely gorgeous, so he's uh, he's definitely worth it. Come on, little man. I honestly can't believe, despite him being a puppy that he would swallow a drawing pin. But if he has swallowed it, it really can be quite dangerous. What we'll need to do is just sedate him mm -hmm. because he's super bouncy. And then we'll take an X-ray and just make sure for 100% that you have swallowed something that ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, ready? Oh. Sometimes in some cases when puppies swallow foreign bodies, you can give them time to see if they'll pass through the system but not with a drawing pin. Because it's got that sharp end, it could lacerate or cut through the gastrointestinal tract at any point. And so it really does need to come out straight away. <laughs> Dexter gets a little bit upset when we give the anesthetic to him, but he is a baby, he's a young dog, and it's a stressful situation. Maybe set up there, please. Yeah, thank you. Hey, silly boy. Okay, ready? X-ray. <laughs> Chances of finding a pin. A hundred percent. That is what it is. It's very serious, uh, this X-ray, because um, you can see how sharp that is. That point at any moment during its movement down the gastrointestinal tract can puncture and go through, leaving a hole, and then bacteria can go out into the abdominal cavity and you can get peritonitis and the dog can die. So it's very serious. Time is critical, with the sharp pin in danger of moving deep into Dexter's stomach. Okay, team, so let's go fishing. Scott is attempting to locate and remove the pin using an endoscope with a camera, hoping to avoid invasive surgery on the five-month-old pup. Can you see it? I can't see it yet, but I can, so I've got food contents now, at least. Trying to find a drawing pin in the gut of a puppy that has had a full meal is the proverbial finding a needle in a haystack. There it is. There it is. Oh my God, there it is. Look at that. Looks like it's already poking in. Is that it? What do you guys think? See what I, I mean? Like, so. yeah. It's sort of, it's hard because it looks a bit like, like a bit of saliva, but it's too still. So I can see it. And now I'm just trying to put myself in a position where I can grab it. So Jason, can you open those jaws for me, please? I'm getting so close. Okay, go. Oh, I've got it. Hey, buddy, I've got it. Can I just move your head? Ugh. What is it? It's gross. Oh, it's so disappointing. It's so disappointing. Oh. All right, let's switch <laughs> that. Well, that was really good going, though. It was a good team effort. Okay, so now we have to just have more of a look around. It's got to be in here somewhere. Scott knows time is critical for Dexter and begins one final search for the pin in a desperate attempt to avoid surgery. Come on, just be there somewhere. Okay, retract. Unfortunately, I've done a good survey of the whole area and I just can't find this needle. It's a real shame that the endoscopic extraction didn't work 
and the drawing pin is still in there. But now it really is a ticking time bomb. This is something that can cause significant injury and Dexter needs to have surgery and he needs to have it now. Hi. Hi Kelly, it's Scott the vet here. Hi. Hi. So yeah, I can't get it out with the endoscope unfortunately. Um, so yeah. at this stage, I think it's probably better that we just go straight in uh, and, and get it out. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you so much. All right, Kelly, no worries. Cheers. Okay, bye, bye. Yeah. Okay. It's a real shame that the endoscopic extraction didn't work and the drawing pin is still in there. But now it really is a ticking time bomb. This is something that can cause significant injury and Dexter needs to have surgery and he needs to have it now. I've never had a chance. His stomach's so full. Got it. Got it? Yep. Destroying pin. Yeah. Number one and the stupidest thing you've ever seen a puppy swallow. So, awesome news in that I've managed to find this translucent drawing pin. Uh, it had already adhered itself to the stomach wall lining, so given, you know, half an hour, an hour, it may have already started to cause some serious damage. We've got the pin out and uh, I'll stitch him up, but uh, will he learn from this? Probably not. All right, let's wake him up then. Hello there. Waking up. Come on. Dexter. 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 There we go. I know, poor boy. It's okay. It's okay, baby boy. Come on then. Let's go and put you in a nice comfy bed. It's okay. I know. I know. Right. Good boy. Have a little snooze. Good lad. Well done. In Isleworth, a very vocal Dexter is recovering from his drawing pin ordeal, and anxious mum Kelly can't wait to be reunited with her special little boy. Come on, you're okay. Come on. Ready? Oh, come on, you big baby. Hi, Kelly. Here's your baby. It's all right. It's okay. He's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> He says sorry for making you worried. Don't you, monkey? Since the surgery, Dexter really has no idea that he's even unwell. He's bouncing around, he's eating like a vacuum cleaner. He is just crazy, getting into even more mischief. It's all right. So he's got through, he's absolutely fine. Yeah, I know, I know with that coat. He does, he looks ridiculous, but oh, you know, you. there you go to see those happy tears in her eyes. You can tell she was just so fearful and so worried for her fur baby, but now he's back in her arms. You can see that she feels complete and she's just very, very happy. These things happen. Yeah. We see puppies swallowing crazy things all the time. I know, he's an absolute nightmare, but I love it. <laughs> A whirlwind nightmare you are. Yeah. Yes, you are. Is that my thank you? Well, I uh, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we do. Thank, thank you very you. much, don't we? Yeah. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, very stressful 24 hours, but absolutely love him to bits. So very pleased that I've got him back. All right, you look after yourself. Yeah, we'll do. All thank right. you so much. No thank worries, you. my pleasure. So See you later, gorgeous you. boy. Oh, All right. On, thank you so See much. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she went in the laundry and she stole some underwear. I was chasing her, try to uh, stop her, but she wouldn't stop. She would eat everything. And it was too late. I can't feel anything stuck well, here. There were very small. Were there small ones? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's oh embarrassing. God, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's <laughs> One tiny G-string could cause Ava serious internal problems. 
There is a chance it can pass through and she'll poop it out, but there's probably more risk than anything that it's going to get stuck somewhere along her gut. And that's bad news for Ava because that would mean surgery. The easiest way to get them out would be to make her vomit, which happens pretty quickly. Yeah. We give her yeah. an injection. Yeah. Um, if she vomits, it will come out, hopefully come out straight away, but there is a big risk with making them vomit because it's it's something that, that is yeah. Yeah, of fabric, course, of course. that when they vomit, they can actually choke on it and, and that can be life-threatening. Give her a cuddle. Oh, please, do your best. Yeah? Lauren, Hi. this is Ava. Hi, Ava's Ava. Ava's swallowed her mummy's G-string. Lovely. <laughs> so mummy's very embarrassed about it, but I think we've caught it early, so hopefully we can get her to vomit okay. and um, get it out the easy way. Okay. Nine-month-old Ava is about to get a shot of apomorphine to help her bring up the underwear. The biggest problem that can happen with making a dog vomit up something that's soft and large is that when they're vomiting, it can become stuck in their airways, so they can choke. So we need to have a catheter ready, an anaesthetic ready, because if that happens, we've got to anaesthetise her straight away and get that thing out. All right, Ava, just a bit noisy, sweetheart. Just a bit noisy. All right, sweetheart. Oh, no. I know. Oh, no. I know. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. These oh, always freak me out at the best of times because it can really go pear-shaped. All right, Ava, Ava, oh, Ava, 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 Ava. The swab, it's over. Funny. The swab, it's over. Actually, not really. <laughs> I'm going to make you feel a bit sick soon really worried, really, really worried. And I just hope that uh, she could vomit and, uh, and that's all, that's all I hope. I'm sorry. I hate giving them this. It's not it's nice. so mean. All right, gorgeous, now we wait. She's already starting to lick her lips, so she's feeling nauseous, so the vomit's gonna happen pretty soon. Nine-month-old Ava has been given a shot of apomorphine to help purge the G-string she stole from her owner's laundry. I know, sweetheart. Oh, I feel so mean doing this. <laughs> you feel nauseous yourself. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. That's a girl. It's not ideal. <laughs> When Ava vomited the first time and there was nothing there, I honestly, my heart skipped a beat. I was really anxious. Lisa's now worried the tiny spaniel won't be able to bring up the underwear. The next option is emergency abdominal surgery. All right, baby, Maybe on. the second time lucky. Come on, sweetheart. Here we go. Here we go. Good girl. Time is running out for Ava, That's the little girl. spaniel who swallowed That's her owner's underwear. Come on. If she doesn't throw it up soon, the only That's answer is emergency surgery. Come on. Oh, there we go. Good girl. Oh, I'm going to get some gloves and just make sure. Honestly, I've never been more happy to see a G-Street. Good news. They match your top, I see. <laughs> they match my top. They match your top too. Yeah, that's right. I've given, them, I've given them a rinse. Thank um, you. <laughs> she, she, they came out really easily. So. <laughs> Thank oh, you very much. Oh. Ava is ecstatic to be reunited oh, with you. Monia. But in the future, can the naughty puppy resist her owner's lingerie? <sighs> She's obviously happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have to learn her lesson now, lock up the underwear, lock up anything that Ava can get to. She's got a ferocious appetite and I really don't think she's going to grow out of it. <laughs> you stick to dog food, huh? No more underwear. You see? No. But I hope that she's learned the lesson. Hmm? Have you? Maybe. <laughs> if you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.